So while I was walking past the porta potties, a man named Michael Hampton said to me, Oh, it looks like the cops are here. And I said, Why is that? And uh, he said, I don't know, because there's one in the car right behind you. And uh, yes, I see a thin blue line sticker. So yeah, I guess the cops are here. It doesn't look like it is a cop car, it just looks like it's an individual who might be a cop. Certainly uh, a place where um, hopefully he'll be em embraced and taught love and uh, taught voluntary interactions. Hey, what, what would your reaction be if you learned that there was a police person here? I thought there was last year. I, mean, I just assumed they were like roving around everywhere. Yeah, so not, not a problem for you. You know, as long as they don't arrest anyone for the stuff that we like to do here, I didn't really give a shit. I think that this exposure would actually benefit and maybe a little bit to see more peaceful people and we're just trying to have a good time. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I'm not actually really frightened if there are police around here because uh, I think that while some might advocate for um, violence and murder, I think that the people here uh, advocate for peace and um, embracing ideas of voluntary exchange and respecting property rights and respecting life. So uh, I think that they'll be pleasantly surprised if, if they were at all afraid. Uh, they'll be surprised to see that it's, uh, it's a peaceful place where they have nothing to worry about. And you know, except actually, a threat to their legitimacy, well, not their lives. Exactly, and I, you know, that's the thing about it too. I don't think the police in this area, they like us being here because we bring a lot of money to their local economy. That's true. That's not bad so too. I don't imagine that there's going to be an issue. You know, as I was walking to the big gay dance party in my uh, fishnets and high heels, there were a couple of police officers who passed me, and I had the badge on the side <laughs> of my leg. I was wondering if they were going to pick me up. All right. Uh, see, you later, see you, Corey. Hey, what's going on, Dio? You're getting a little video of Derek J over here, my new friend. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you know, you too, it was man. we didn't know each other until Pork Fest. No, we, we did not. We'd done shows together. We did an episode of Peace News this, Now. Yeah, this is the actual first face-to-face -face meeting. <laughs> Isn't this? And we're video recording each other. How about that? Check <laughs> that out. <laughs> this is so meta. Look what's happening. <laughs> good to see you, Ed. Later, see you later. So, there are a lot of video cameras around here, a lot of guns, a lot of smiling, peaceful people. It's the final day of Porkfest, or day six. Day seven, Sunday is when people will be really leaving and wrapping up. Tonight will be the uns dance party. So, everyone's trying to cram in their last few hours of fun. And I am looking to get some food over at Thunder Doge, where I'm gonna pay in Dogecoin. Right up here. We got a really cool tent here, by the way. This is Free Aid. Free Aid offers medical services to people in need on a voluntary exchange basis. Many people don't know this, but people who provide aid could be in a world of trouble uh, if they provide aid for someone, if they're a trained, licensed medical professional and they're not doing it in their, like, approved government way. Hey, I'm wondering if you can tell me a little bit about free aid. Sure, but I'm kind of eating ice cream. Oh, okay. That's all right. in, well, in a moment? Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, terrific. Bye. Thanks. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. How'd the show go? It was great. Well, no, Thanks for having me on. I really enjoyed Thanks it. Thanks for being on. Yeah, it was cool to see the big gay dance party, too. That was a blast. Yeah, well, I was looking for you the whole time, and then you showed I, up, and I you looked extra fabulous. Thank you, and then I needed to do a second costume change, because I could not handle those heels. You know, Look at these two loveys. <laughs> you look great. I'm getting some Thunder Doge dogs. Doges. I'm going to pay in Doge. I know. This morning. Oh, you gotta... Trying to keep you entertained. You have one of my favorite shirts on right now. I bought this one as soon as I saw it. I was hoping a lot of people would be wearing it. Like, could you imagine the Washington Post or some other mainstream news uh, taking photographs of people walking around with huge guns and shirts that say, Kill the precedent. Right? Because we can't keep doing the same thing. You know, we can't keep doing the same thing expecting different results. We gotta do something different. Peaceful, of course. Profound. Yes. Where, did, where did you get it? Um, Bitcoin.bombs gave it to me today. Uh, Word. Where yeah. Are where are they? They're right uh, down the way. Yeah. Bitcoin.bombs.com. 